Kobe Bryant joins us now from the Lakers practice facility down the road in El Segundo. And Kobe, we are happy, thrilled to have you and the Lakers on ABC at 5 o'clock Eastern Time Christmas Day. But anybody who claims to know about this wrist injury says you should take three, four weeks off. Did you give any serious thought to resting it and not playing on Sunday? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I played through a myriad of injuries. And, uh, yeah, I've been fortunate enough that you know, most of the injuries that I've had, you really can't do any more significant damage to them the more you play. So it's all about you know, having a high pain threshold and you know, just trying to adjust your game accordingly. This is not an easy start to the season for other reasons. You're going to play without Andrew Bynum the first four games, and you're the only team to go back to back to back right out of the gate. Is it even reasonable, Kobe, to think about getting off to a good start or a fast start? No, I mean, the, 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 the best thing is probably getting those three games, you know, out of the way now while we're still pretty fresh as opposed to having them mid-season and all of a sudden you got three straight. You know, I think it's, uh, it couldn't have come at a better time for us. Can you see yourself playing in all three of those games or will there be some attempts to talk you out of playing with that wrist injury and rest in at least one of them? What, what percentage do you think you are now in terms of going with that wrist? I'll play on all three. That was pretty definitive. You were hit with some personnel <laughs> stunners in the last couple of weeks. First, you thought you were getting Chris Paul, and you didn't. Second, you say goodbye to Lamar Odom for essentially nothing. Wondering your reaction to the last couple of weeks for the Lakers and personnel. It's been, uh, it's been an interesting couple of weeks, uh, to say the least. Um, you know, with Chris and, you know, that whole situation and then uh, Lamar and that situation. I mean, it's been, you know, it's been some, uh, some, some head turners for sure. I, I think you've been pretty restrained so far about the growing notion that Los Angeles is suddenly going to become a Clippers town to follow up on the Clippers. But I'm imagining, Kobe, this is bothering you even though you haven't let on so far. But tell us how you really feel. No, I, I think it's fine. I mean, I, you know, it's, um, it's great to have that level of basketball here in the city. I mean, the Clippers have been in a doghouse for years, and I think it's good for them to have a team that they feel is competitive and that they're moving in that right direction and at the same time push us to continue to want to, um, you know, bring in pieces here that are going to help us be championship contenders right now. Um, so I think it's great for, for the city. You played against Chris Paul in the New Look Clippers in those two preseason games. Do you think Chris is going to have that big an impact right away on the Clippers? Well, I think it gives them a different dimension, you know. So you, you have so much talent out on the floor with you know, himself and Chauncey and, and Karan and, you know, Blake, obviously. And he's improved a lot. He's, he's really worked in his game in the offseason. Um, then you have Mo Williams. So, you know, you have players who individually are extremely talented and uh, seem like they have the willingness to play as a, as a group. You said you were okay with Mike Brown's criticism of your defense after the first preseason game with the Clippers. Mike's a very different person from Phil Jackson, is he not? No, I mean, you know, Phil, you know, did it his way too. Phil did a lot of it through the media. Mike, I don't expect Mike to do that really um, too often at all. I mean, he's really on top of guys a lot during practice and he'll stop practice and he'll coach guys and critique guys um, you know, during practice. And he's very meticulous about how he wants his defense being played. And for a lot of us, it's new. It's, we're not used to um, you know, that type of system and structure defensively. You know, we're more used to being freelancers. Kobe, isn't that the biggest adjustment of all? I mean, you guys have quite a few things to get used to, but having a new coach after Phil Jackson's voice and Phil Jackson's way all those years, isn't a new coach the biggest thing? Um, no, I mean, it's just a different way to skin a cat. I mean, one of the things Tex Winter always used to say is, you know, he doesn't, you know, I don't care what offense you run or what system you run, but it's how you run it. And so the principles for us remain the same in terms of the patience in our execution, our philosophies on playing as a group, and uh, on both ends of the floor. So uh, the core competencies of what we do remain the same. This is going to be your 14th time playing on Christmas Day, something no other player has ever done in the NBA. There's great visibility, but also great intrusion. 
How do you feel about playing on Christmas Day? It's always exciting playing on Christmas Day. I mean, you know, I, you always flash back to as a kid, and you know, that was the moment of the day. You know, everybody just kind of sat around and was just waiting for the games to start. You know, that was the moment. And so, you know, fast forward to where we are now, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a great honor to be playing on Christmas Day. And truthfully, you know, when we all retire and we're gone, and I'm sure if you talk to, you know, players who've played on Christmas Day in the past and who are former players, you know, they all miss that moment. They all miss those times of being on national television on Christmas Day playing a great game. You wanted a word just now that's going to lead me into a question. You said the word retired. You are a young man, but you're also entering your 16th season. One more than even Michael Jordan played in the NBA. Do you think actively about how much longer you want to do this? Sometimes. Sometimes I do. And it's, it's, it's exciting to think about that because to think about, you know, where I come from and, you know, how fast everything kind of flew by and, accomplishments and so forth and so on but then it gives me an added determination you know to want to go out the right way so uh, yeah, it should be fun well let's let's end the conversation with this where do you feel the Lakers are now going into this season with all that's happened the end of last season the personnel shifts at the beginning of this season how do you feel about this team as you start another season I think the, the temperature of the team is a very calm one you know, we, we, we have a bunker mentality uh, because of all the talk and the criticism, but it's a very calm one. It's, uh, we're very, we understand what we have to do. We understand the roles are clearly defined. And now it's time to go out there on the floor and execute. Kobe, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Happy holidays and look forward to seeing you on Christmas Day against the Chicago Bulls. Appreciate it, man. Happy holidays.